All right, here we go. The people. Well, I mean, how long is this? The whole show. Well, it it could be, and I think people would love it, and it would be perfectly happy. I know I would. But Dan's coming at some point too, so it won't be the whole show. Um, All right. Do you want to? Do you want me to just read them? Sure. I mean, I feel like most people know. But we we, we should just we should just go over to go over. This will be a nice clip. I don't. Are you just gonna hurt ticket sales to Dave Portnoy an evening of hate though? Just you don't you don't even have to expand a lot. You, if okay. you want, you could go as much or as little as you want. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. People I currently hate. Julia. I have Black. a green pen. Self-explanatory. Okay. Henry Blodgett. Self-explanatory. Nicholas Carlson, editor of Business Self, Insider. He, he 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 was in there. He's the one who I believe hid the police report. He also um, responded like nobody at Business Insider will address any of the uh, article and bullshit that they wrote about me total and he's also been in the news like 10 times been caught being a hypocrite he i think he was the ceo he's like we're trying to figure out all ceo salaries and then somebody asked him hey nicholas what's your salary and he's like i'd prefer not to say something should remain remain private piece of shit uh, um all right so that's only the three people from bi yeah um goodell self-explanatory uh john skipper so he was at he was the head of ESPN um, when we launched uh, Van Talk Radio with Big Cat and PFT. Then he famously canceled it. Did not tell us he canceled it. By the way, we read it in a press release, and his exact quote was, um, "We failed to realize how that people would associate Barstool Van Talk with Barstool Sports." He said that. Uh, he also then, like two weeks later, in one of the clearest signs of all time that God is on my side, got busted and had to, for, he said he was being, uh, what it was, extorted by his Coke dealer. And that's why he had to step down for ESPN. That was a lie. He's a liar. He went to DAZN, who we work with now. I think he got canned from there. His big thing was he got Canelo. Yeah, he paid double to get Canelo. I had a good laugh about that, speaking with some people. Um, yeah, he's a piece of shit. I'd right. l- he may come on this show. I think he thinks he's smarter than me. We should ask him to come on this show. I think he works for um, Metal Lock, I now. believe it is, yeah. Yeah, he just bounces around. He's one of those guys, he probably lucked his way into ESPN, then got out. He lasted three seconds at the zone. He's over at the other place, probably does nothing. I think he thinks he's smarter than me. His son was a big PMT Barstool guy. He's a piece of shit. All right, we'll ask him to come on. Uh, cheese Boy. <laughs> so cheese boy i i don't think they're still in business this is an early one this is i was with renee still and there was like a local like one of those food places that you see in like malls or rest stops and when they i like it grilled cheese as much as the next guy and when they launched renee and i each got a cheese boy we both ate it we're like it's good we both tweeted at cheese boy hey great sandwich or something to that effect he retweeted her did not retweet me i'm like that's weird whatever i'm like he must have missed mine so i re- i retweeted again hey cheese boy really good sandwich again no retweet so i started studying cheese boy's twitter this dude was retweeting everybody if you even made eye contact with him he retweeted he was intentionally not retweeting mine so you hate me i'll hate you back double and i went on a a vengeance against cheese boy i think musky that idiot intern we had one time like brought cheese boy to the office i made him cry he did do that he was crying he He was crying and then he was like somehow staying in gaz's basement crying why does dave hate me because you ate cheese boy you idiot so for those taking notes at home, we're at um, the head of ESPN to a grilled cheese company. Can have, hey, listen, hate can strike anytime, anywhere. If you wrong me, you wrong me. I don't care who you are or how little you are, okay. how significant, how insignificant. Hate, has, hate is colorblind, genderblind, you name it. It can come for you in any angle. You don't even have to be alive. All right, the next one. Uh, the Green Monster, not the wall, but the woman. Yeah, that's Megan Greenwall. Green, 
Um, so it's just a nickname has nothing to do with the fact her physical appearance, because I don't view people that way. Uh, but she was the editor of Deadspin. Total piece of shit. I remember she started going after Erica. I think maybe that's when I like sort of became aware of her. I remember, I think it was her. Erica was wearing like a, uh, a sweater that said feminist, I believe. And Megan said something like, of course you'd wear a sweatshirt. She's the head of Barstool that says feminist. I remember Erica, this is when I really was like, Erica's the best. She wrote back, it's cashmere, bitch. I remember that. I'm pretty sure that was Greenwald. She also is racist. She um, reversed racism. She wanted a Congressional Medal of Honor for living in the Puerto Rican part of Brooklyn and like Williamsburg. Like I remember that. And then I went and did a big expose on how the people felt that she was parading around, basically screaming from the mountaintops. Look at me. Look at this white girl. I'm so hip and so progressive. I live with Puerto Ricans. It's like, come on. Disgusting. Okay. Kyrie Irving. Well, he's one of the great prima donnas. So <clears throat> I was actually pro Kyrie when he left Cleveland and came to the Celtics and he hated LeBron. But he's just the worst athlete of I, I I hated him when he was on the Celtics. Like I started hating him. Just he wouldn't shut up talking about how he's gonna go other places. And then the media would be like, Are you leaving? He'd be like, How dare you ask me that? He stomped on the logo. It's just it's it's a Boston versus Kyrie thing, so I just fucking hate him and it was great to sweep him out. Dale Arnold. Called me a pedophile. Uh, he's a local Boston guy, midget. Um, no offense to Midge, he's like two foot tall. Uh, he has to stand on like a desk so you can even see his head. He's retired, but during um, the Brady dildo gate thing, howitzer gate, he, he basically called me a pedophile. Okay. Uh, LeBron. Same, same exact with like Kyrie. Just the Celtics. That Celtics team when they were, he was coming up with Cleveland with like KG and Pierce. Perk, Rondo, my favorite, one of my favorite teams to ever root for. They hated LeBron as much as I did. And then everything, so I just studied his every move and the hatred has just continued. Have you made your uh, Coach K big cash sheet yet? Because you should do No, that. I haven't. That was, yeah, yeah. That'll be no, good. No, I haven't. Um, moving along, Michael Rappaport. Self-evident, I think, obviously, used to work for us. I never personally had a problem, but he went off the deep end. He's a legit loony tune. Suing us still, I think. I don't know if it's thrown out or what. I actually okay. offered to fight. I can't. I literally, my shoulder right now, it hurts putting on a jacket. Like, I actually have to go get it checked out. He, he, I sent him a $250,000 contract to fight him. I literally did. And I, he's 100 times bigger than me, fatter than me. And I can't even lift my arms. That's, But I'm done with that. So would you still do that? Or no, 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 no. I can't. Literally, I can't even lift my arm anymore. You're done. You're toast. Um, Sarah Spain. You know, she's one. She's just in the inner circle. I think she pulls a lot of levers at ESPN um, and had a lot to do, I think, with uh, the, uh, Van Talk getting canceled. She is a hypocrite. Uh, and I, honestly... Above all, I just hate her for her lack of talent. She's so bad, and it just hurts me to see she somebody is. that bad at their job get promoted just by being like her fake feminism routine that she does. Let's not forget, she came to prominence by like posting a, a ridiculously over-the-top sexual picture trying to like whore herself out to go to a Bears Super Bowl. That's how people found out and she'll be the first to criticize another woman who did something like that Mina Kimes never had a problem with her till the business insider stuff came out and she was always first in line to retweet the article and be like look at this look at this I didn't even jump on her until after I presented all the facts that proved everything incorrect and I don't need her to agree with me, but she never even like showed both sides of the story. She has a huge platform. She's negligent. What she did, she should be in jail. And she's another one who just 
I'm not saying she's not talented. I don't pay enough attention. But there's certain people in media who just get elevated on these platforms for nothing to do with talent. She's one of them. Jack's Pizza. Yeah, so I was doing the frozen pizza reviews during COVID. <clears throat> trying to entertain the millions of people stuck at home and bring a ray of light of hope to people's, you know, miserable days during those times. Every pizza company in the world sent me a frozen pizza. Most of them unasked. But if enough people got recommended and I didn't have it and couldn't get access to it, I would ask for the pizza. So we reached out to Jax, as we did probably 20 places. All of them sent it. Jax actually wrote back, sorry, we're too busy. We don't have the time to send you one frozen pizza. They could have sent the frozen pizza in the time it took to respond that they were too busy to do it. So fuck them. Laura Wagner. Wags. One of the great rivals. I actually, She was so over the top with the way she talked about me that I thought she was in the arena with me. I thought, oh, it's like she could work for us. She's a snivelly Adderall riddled raisin. Like she'd say stuff about me and I'd laugh. I'd be like, oh, she's pretty good, Wags. Turns out she wasn't joking. And um, accused me, I think, of sexual harassment when I wrote a blog that said that I, this is the, she wrote about me maybe 30 times without me ever responding. And finally, I'm like, okay, okay, I'll respond. And I did a blog that was the Costanza. Any woman who hates me this much comes around like once in a lifetime. Like, and I actually put the clip from Seinfeld in it uh, and they accused me of sexual harassment. Fuck her. Mike Kensel. Uh, part of the Goodell. I chase Ken. I, I do hate Kensel, but he could drop off that list at some time because I, I, think, I think he hasn't been heard from since I ran him out of media day. I ran him out of media day. He was, he was the one on the sidelines with the flight gate when the balls are taken. Uh, who's the guy from Boston who I like? The reporter, Redhead. Redhead from Boston. Yeah. He's a football guy. Curran, Tom Curran. Tom Curran came up to me at me today. He's like, Mike Kensel's over there. I'm like, where? Went, chased him out. He went behind the curtain, directly from the curtain, got on a boat to China. The man, I don't think the man's been heard from since. He literally got reassigned. After I talked to him, he got reassigned to China. I don't know if he's ever made it back to the States. You're laughing, but he did. Like, Goodell saw that he, I had him. He's like, he's Dave's ready to get to this guy. He's going to crack and sent him to fucking China for real. So, okay. Mark that on your list. Everybody listening. Uh, he's the first person that could be removed possibly because possibly. he went to China. And came back. If I find out he's still in the States, he's on the list. But if he's never been allowed back in, we may be, we may be even. Okay. All right. It's a good separator. Uh, Mooj. So Mooj came in with caller Daddy. Uh, I never liked him. I called him a douchebag to his face. Like the first meeting we had, it's like, you're a douchebag. I never would have hired you. But Alex Cooper says she wants you. Alex Cooper's making seven figures for this company. She gets you. Um, whatever. Damn, he like, saw, I don't want to say grew on me. No. Big Cat had his back hard and like was like taking him under his wing and he wanted to get into, you know, game time and all this shit. And we were talking, and he was seemingly, like, wanting to really work for us. And then Black Lives Matter and all that shit happened. Uh, and he he quit without telling anybody, saying I was a racist. He was here for, what, like, a cup of coffee? Um, just a total piece of shit. Not to mention the fact his background was littered with N-words and shit like that. So just a total, total piece of shit. The next person on the list is Smitty. Yeah, he's a pussy. He is. I mean, come on, he is. <laughs> come on. Uh, huh. he, he called me a Jew that one time, which he says wasn't him. And I know just calling someone a Jew isn't like, that's not a put down, right? When you just DM somebody at three in the morning, Jew, it's meant as a put down. Um, he did do that. Uh, he says he didn't, but wouldn't give up the name. He did it. 
And then that whole shower incident, just such a pussy. Hate him. But I mean, lack there's humor of towards over him, right? The, lack of effort over the course of two decades. You don't actually blaming hate everybody him, else. He's on the list, isn't he? Yeah, but I feel like there's some some humor on this one. It's humorous. I could hate a guy on the list. Yeah, that works for me. All right, uh, Soup Man. He was the guy behind who, who he was the mastermind or just trying to orchestrate the whole color daddy like fiasco when they were trying to not only leave us, but they're going to really say some incendiary. Is that how you say it? Incendiary, something like that, something like that. They're going to say pretty nasty things about us, which would have been um, used in articles moving forward. None of it true, but that's how the media works. Uh, so I believe he was the mastermind behind it. Sophia with an F. Soupman's uh, girlfriend. So maybe the most misread person on my end. I actually thought Sophia with an F liked me. Call me. I don't mean like, hey, I want to fuck you, Dave. I thought she like liked me as a person. I was totally caught off guard when all this shit went down. Like if you said who's the mastermind, Cooper or Sophia, I'd be like, oh, I could see Cooper not liking me. Um, but it, it, Sophia really, I don't know. I don't know if Superman poisoned her. I just never saw that coming. I thought I thought Sophia was, I was. I felt better friends with Sophia and closer to Sophia than Cooper for whatever that, That's how I felt, yeah. I was like, just, she didn't show any of the, as much after the fact that she was like, I hate working here, they're scumbags, whatever she was saying. She never expressed any of that to me, publicly or privately. Did you see that like Giuliani photo shoot she had or whatever? A little bit, like she was dancing in front of him or something. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what it was. Yeah, me neither. Drew McGarry. He's just such a fucking fraud. He's a piece of shit. He's he 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 used to be. Was he originally at Kissing Susie Colbert? I think he was. I think you're right. So he was a writer. He's been around forever. Um, made all the jokes times 10 that we did. Then decided uh, Trump was going to break his brain. He basically said, erased his entire history, said it doesn't count, and then take shots at us whenever he can. Um, just a total fraud, total piece of shit. 99.9 .9 of all politicians. All the I don't hate, I, I hate frauds. I hate people who don't tell the truth, uh, say one thing, do another. 99% of all politicians do that. FTX. They came off the hate list. Oh, really? Yeah, they're off of it. There was an updated one. They're off of it. Oh, okay. FTX is, what, what, what's the story behind that? I thought they bail. I thought they were the only client who bailed on um, all the when the uh, business insider stuff happened. And like we're on a call. I'm like, none of it's true. Like, if advertisers is going to bail when somebody prints something without like due process, because they were on the phone being like, we believe you. Like we know we know it's not true. We don't think it's right, but we got to bail. I'm like, well, I'm just going to say you bailed. Like. You know, I, we, we that that's fair. It, you can do it's your business. You can do what's right, but I think the people you're trying to reach would not like to know that you bailed, and it's only fair. Like you can cancel if we don't do our jobs, we ruin the contract. But I they they didn't bail. I thought they did. They didn't. Okay, so they're off. Yep. Uh, cat ten, cat ten barge. She was part of Business Insider, and she was a reporter in that article. I asked her to come on the podcast, defend the claims, talk about it. She did write back. She's like, oh, I'm no longer with Business Insider. I wish she had NBC. So I was like, I, I, I have no part of it anymore. Never like, I'm like, yeah, but you still were a part of it and said all this shit. It's like, nope, nope, doesn't count anymore. I'm at NBC. Fucking fraud, piece of shit. Brooks Kepka. We had the match set up, right? Mm -hmm. For 250 grand, lefty versus lefty. He got injured, fair, whatever, ha shit happens. The week before, the weekend before he was supposed to play, fine. 
DM is like, I'm so sorry. We'll reschedule it. Like, sucks. Fine. Good, good, good. No problem. A lot of work on our end, Eddie, to get this thing set up, to broadcast it, the tech side, hours and hours and hours, man hours, setting this thing up, all on our end. Next thing you know, I don't hear from him. And he's like, hey, I'm doing a match with, uh, with Bryson DeChambeau, the match. Never fucking, I don't, listen, you do you. To not give me a heads up, he was doing that first. And just like after all the work we put into our thing, scumbag, piece of shit. Has he reached out at all after nope, that? Nope, he's a scumbag piece of shit. Wow, that's surprising because I know. Scumbag piece happened. of shit. Just that's not. If I wasted somebody's time and energy, not just mine, it wasn't actually mine. It was our company's. Granted, I was practicing and injuring my shoulder. But if I wasted that much time, it wasn't his fault that he got hurt. But the courtesy would be like, hey, I got this opportunity. We're going to do this first. Then we'll do you. What a piece of shit. And not even, yeah, I should have told you nothing. Piece of shit. And magazine. That's Nantucket magazine. They put me on the cover. Uh, and then they got some backlash from some fucking scumbag losers in Nantucket who complained to N Magazine. N Magazine felt the need to like publicly apologize for putting me on the cover. And then they apologize. Then they apologized for the apology. <laughs> like once I went in too late scumbags. Gaslight Bar and Grill on Nantucket. They're the ones who cause the controversy. And by the way, I have close friends who work at this place, who I'm friendly with. And the inside word is they all despise the woman who created this controversy, who is like there, but too late. You, She represents them. Scumbag's dead to me. And that is like, one of my good friends who's like, what was I think the GM? One of my good friends. You're a scumbag too for letting it go down. Step in and be like, no, no, no. I know the guy for a decade. Scumbag's dead to me. The girl, she's just like a worker? I think she was like somehow involved in the ownership or something. Oh. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Um, the Daily Beast. Long history. They recycle deadspin reporters, scumbags. Kanye. I don't like what he did to Taylor Swift. All right. They, him and fucking um, Kardashian, Kim, they edited that phone call of hers when she said she agreed to be the lyric in the song, which she did not. And then they're like, yeah, she agreed. They edited up the phone call and I called him out. And then the full phone call came out later and Kanye gets a free pass on everything. Yeah, I know he's crazy and he's an eccentric genius. If somebody edited my phone call and leaked it to the media the way they did, he was fucking crazy, crazy. Fuck him. Why does he get a free pass on it? That's crazy what he did to her. Dave the Swifty, all right. Um, the Empire State Building. Oh. They stole the songbird of our generation. <laughs> Kevin Blackstone. He was on ESPN, and we were, in the, <laughs> we were in the news for something. So he had to reference us. And he's like, excuse me, I want to puke for even having to mention Barstool. <laughs> Fuck him, piece of shit. Uh, Chitty Bang. Everyone knows what happened with Chitty Bang. Chitty Bang, Chitty Bang was in Providence. We had a, no, they were in New York. We had a show in Providence at Lupo's. They didn't make it from New York to Providence. They had the full day. I was on the phone all day trying to get them different planes. First of all, it takes longer to drive to the airport and get on a plane than it does to just get in your fucking car and go to Providence. They excuse, excuse, excuse. They show up, I think, late or something. They, they demand full payment halfway through. It's like, no fucking way. So I didn't pay them. They actually, I believe, through the first, went public. If I recall, they're like, sorry to our fans, promoter fucked us over. Uh, this ain't no Tom, Dick, Harry promoter you're dealing with. I have a little mouthpiece and I went off you. Want, and then he reached out chitty bang. Like he's like 60 now. <laughs> he's like my age, but, uh, he reached out. He's like, this story's not true. As I recall, we we're flying overseas. No, 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 no. I got all the emails. 
We, we, it's all documented. <laughs> How uh, do you not we, make it from New York to Providence? We've uh, we've reached out to Chitty Bang. Uh, hopefully, we'll have him on next week or something. Obviously, just a load of weeks. So he's delusional on how that went down.